the difficulty of trying to explain to people what world skills is all about is you start using language like global skills benchmarking and they're going well what does that mean well actually here's a good example right here we have two of the 30 top young skilled painter decorators in Australia when they have an opportunity to benchmark at this national standard yeah. you know, then the champion goes on to the world level yeah. and everybody can see what are these performance standards right. and experience them rather than read them in a book. The metrics in, in, yeah. involved in this are not just speed but it's accuracy and quality as well. So how do you match these uh, you know, these quality dimensions to cost and that's what this is all about. Skills include uh, motor skills, they include the, what traditionally we call the trades, the hammer and wrench, but they also include the keyboard skills. This is uh, IT software application, there's website design across the way, there's uh, ITPC network support. It's all the high tech skills that you need for a global economy. And once these young people get those skills, they've got a global passport and they can go anywhere in the world. But they're, they're like the Olympics, uh, this, this is the Skills Olympics. And it, it's training young people to be the best in the world and take their talents all over the world. We've doubled the membership of World Skills in the last 15 years. And we've got, you know, we've got India, Vietnam, the, the emerging economies, China's knocking on the door, and the hunger for global skills benchmarking is absolutely clear. We've seen uh, national skills competitions with uh, prime ministers at it, premiers of states and provinces, royalty have been yeah. some of these. They understand how important this is for the economy of their nation. And in Canada, we're bringing the world to Canada, yeah. and so we're expecting world leaders to come together for the leadership forum. So they'll have an opportunity to discuss global issues. Uh, at the leadership and forum. A tremendous networking opportunity. Networking opportunity, not just for, for governments and leaders, but industry leaders as well. We've got the space, uh, we've got uh, the program, we've got uh, beautiful weather in Calgary at that time yeah. of year, beautiful yeah. city yeah. right by the Rocky Mountains. So uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to welcoming the world. Well, Richard, <laughs> you've seen what Sydney can do. Yeah. And of course, that's the 500 skilled champions from around the country yeah. you're going to be hosting a thousand from yeah. 51 countries next year it's going to be four times as big as this how are you feeling uh excited this is great uh what australia has done here and, and the event in sydney is just phenomenal yeah. and uh, for for us to be here for a few days and, and capture some of this excitement capture some of the knowledge and the intellectual uh, uh development here take that back to Calgary, where we're going to host the world in about a year. Uh, just an extraordinary experience for us, and, and uh, we're really looking forward to having everyone come to Calgary yeah. in Canada in 2009. I think, don't miss it. It's going to be the global skills uh, engine room of the future. Come along to Calgary.